DJ Pop, eles veio tocar no festival e eles tiveram até problemas afastados, mas a banda voltou com força total e a gente trocou uma ideia com eles no camarim antes da apresentação. Vamos dar uma olhada. really excited with playing at Terra Gig. What can we expect in the set list? Could you tell us a little bit? We've been playing new songs recently, but not tonight. We're going to just play classics tonight. Well, we haven't been here before, so, you know, we thought we'd uh, just play the old songs and try and kind of, um, you know, create a great vibe. Is this your first time in Brazil? Are you enjoying? Neil is a Brazilian. He's the only one who's been to Brazil before. The rest of us have never been to South America before. No, it's yesterday when we uh, we did. We met a load of fans, and and you know they've been waiting for 20 years for us to come here, and you know they, they were really lovely. So you know, I really hope we can we can sort of do do them justice and play a good gig for them today. Which sweet song cannot be out of the set list? Is, is there a song that's not been? I guess trash has probably not been out of the set list. Trash or beautiful ones, I don't think, have been out of the set since we wrote them. A read on that you don't really like playing at festivals, that you prefer having your own audience. You still have the same opinion about it, or has it changed it? It just depends, really, on the audience. It's not, I don't need to just say, I like festivals, or I don't like festivals. It's kind of... There's good festivals and bad festivals, and there's good tiny gigs and bad tiny gigs. It's, I don't know. Generally, it's easy to make a connection with an audience that's smaller, because you've got, you can be more tactile. a new sweet album. How was the songwriting process? Did you all write together or separately? We did all sorts. Of, it, it, we did a lot of writing. We did a lot of writing for it. Um, that lasted um, a long time. I think when you're writing and you haven't been together for a long time, like we hadn't, you know, it's, our first, it's going to be our first album for 10 years. Um, I think a lot, of, a, a, a lot of the writing is about re-establishing contact with each other. So um, it was a long, long um, journey making this album, but I'm really, really pleased with the results. Suede is one of the most influential bands in the 1990s. You guys were responsible for kickstarting the Britpop movement. And after all these years, how do you feel when a new band says that are influenced by you? Lovely. It's always lovely when you when you get people that, that, that have grown up with you, because, you know, we grew up with fans and a fan, we're fans of bands when we were, you know, it's nice being part of that chain really. It's one of the nicest things about what we do when you get younger bands coming up to you and say that, you know, the, f the first record I really loved was coming up or something like that, you know, it's really, it's really lovely. Yeah. 